As we all know, we celebrate the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day. This is the first day that God took on human form in the person of Jesus. In fact, one of the greatest mysteries takes place here. You see, Jesus was not conceived in the usual way by a mortal man. The Bible declares that Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit, a spiritual conception, if you will. And Jesus' mother, Mary, became a willing vessel to carry Jesus to term and then raises him with her husband, Joseph. So Jesus experiences the things children usually experience. He goes to school, he does household chores, and he develops a trade. Then, at about the age of 30, Jesus begins the work of healing people, spreading the gospel, the good news of salvation. And because Jesus was conceived by divine intervention and born by a mortal woman, Jesus was 100% God and 100% human. And we'll see the significance of this later on. So, as the message that Jesus preached gained in popularity, the government and religious leaders of the day, they conspired to get rid of him. Jesus became a threat to their cushy positions as he challenged their approach to life and worship of God. So they had Jesus arrested on trumped up charges and arranged for him to be tortured and executed by nailing him to a cross. Uh, and to get a feel, of what that was like, I encourage you to watch The Passion. So here's something that tends to get glossed over. Um, Jesus was born to die, literally. Though uh, we may not fully understand God's methodology to save souls, we can take comfort in knowing that it is the correct way to save souls. You see, because Jesus was the only sinless person to ever exist. Uh, and because of that, he was qualified to take on our life sentence for the sin that we are responsible for. And he did this on the cross. And that's called the crucifixion. Now, the scripture verse for today is from Romans 6.23, where it reads, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, our rebellion against God not only brings physical death, but spiritual death as well. So remember, because of Adam and Eve, um, all of humanity have inherited a defective genetic code that makes us guilty of rebellion against God. And perfect justice requires death. So, how does God rectify this situation for us? He provides Jesus to take our place of execution. The perfect sacrifice. Heavy stuff. Serious stuff. Because souls are on the line. God's forgiveness comes at a profound cost. And that's what Good Friday is all about. And next, we shall explore the victory of Jesus, which is our victory as well. Peace to you all.